Hola people, Bree Slay here, aka The Beauty Plug, and today I got some tea on the tea on the tea on the tea. I got some exotic tea. I got some ethnic uh, Middle Eastern tea. I have some, I got some tea, okay? I have gotten some new stuff, and if you are interested in finding out what Middle Eastern dupes that I have just added new to my collection, and to find out if it's real, if it's really that close, do you need to spend your coin on the real thing? or go and get you the doobity doo, then um, come on now, you know what to do. Hey y'all, so I'm trying to decide whether I wanted to film two separate videos with just Middle Eastern dupes, with Middle Eastern fragrances in my collection, what I think is the best, should I do a What's New Wednesdays on what I just got? And so today I'm going to specifically, because I got a lot of new fragrances. Today I'm going to specifically focusing, focus on two fragrances in particular that happen to be dupes. And these two fragrances are Middle Eastern fragrance dupes um, to the version of other niche brand uh, fragrances and designer fragrances. And... This is also an unboxing. This is also, this is all the things. So I'm not really sure. This may, we may, I may or may not post this on a What's New Wednesday for you guys. But I have more fragrances coming and I don't feel like waiting. I was going to do them all at one time, but I'm doing today. Today I have found, or I have been told, I have found, I've researched the dupe for two fragrances. And one of the fragrances is... K. Ali's Yum Pistachio 33. Now, let me tell you something. When I tell you this fragrance is a delicious, clean, yet sweet gourmand that's perfect, I believe, for summer. Like, if you love gourmands, but you know that the summer heat is just a little too much for you, and you would love gourmands, K. Ali's gelato pistachio or pistachio gelato yum gelato pistachio gelato look at my bottle honey look at it can you see it can you see that okay and this has notes of pistachio gelato hazelnut sweet rum whipped cream marshmallow cotton candy listen now here's the issue with this fragrance because you know i'm gonna give you the real and the real this don't last it don't last. You got to carry this in your pocketbook and spray you down. And I'm an oversprayer. And yes, to be fair, I eat up the fragrances. Your girl eats them up. My body eats up fragrances. Like, four plus four. Four plus four equals eight. Ate it. My body ate it up. Okay? So, everybody has been talking about, <clears throat> and I don't know why I'm just finding this out. This has been on YouTube for about a month or two now. Affection by Latafa. Now, if y'all don't know anything about Latafa, Latafa is known for doing the ish out of some dupes and for making their fragrances mm -hmm, they the one. And so, so I have another fragrance by Latafa. I believe Nebris by Latafa. I have that and I did a video check that out comparing that to Billie Eilish's um, Eilish. And today we're going to unbox this uh-huh, and see if it compares to the K. Ali's version of Yum Pistachio Gelato 33. Now, this is the 3.4 fluid ounce. I believe I paid... Hmm, hold that thought. Okay, I paid $47.50 on Amazon. And I just looked it up and it's now up to $60. Bucks. So, uh, y'all better go on ahead and get it. Because I'm going to mention in my... When I do my other video on my Middle Eastern fragrances, my top Middle Eastern fragrances... I'm going to mention another one that is, when I tell you, so inexpensive and is giving, smelling like money. Okay. But anyway, back to this. So, 3.4 fluid ounce. So, we're going to unbox this and see. Now, I labeled myself the dupe queen. And I have a scentographic memory. Meaning, like, I can smell something and then smell something else and be like, that's this. That's what this reminds me of. This smell like. Okay? So... This is called Affection Love. It is Parfum 3.4 Fluid Ounce by Latafa. Now, okay now. See, because we do things real here on this channel. 
So it comes with the seal right here. They have this their seal on it. Masafa has their seal on it. Um, I don't know. Listen, I'm not. I'm not editing that out. I'm going. Come on now, like, let's let's. Mm hmm. Hold a minute. Okay, now we was having a real difficult time. Okay, so this is the box for affection. Let's just. Okay, it opens like this. Now, this little top is a little, it's a little raggedy. I was having little issues, but this is the bottle for it, okay? Affection, it says love. This is raised off the bottle, which I think is really pretty. It's nice black, but this little top, it's a little janky, and I feel like, I mean, but what you expect, $47, okay? So now let's test the juice, okay? I'm going to spray it on the card. Now, this is said to be, again, the dupe for Cali's Yum Pistachio Gelato. And it's said to be stronger and the performance to be even better. Okay? So, let's see. Let's offer. You did that. Let me tell you something. Listen to me. You listening to me? Now. I'm going to spray Kaoli on this. And it makes me sneeze. Ooh, just like just like the Kaoli one does. Now, I will tell you that the in the Kaali one, oh, excuse me. Woo. This smells more pistachio y to me. The, the, the Kaali one smells a smidge a bit more pistachio. But as they're drying down, even in initial spray, it's the same fragrance. So if you want a good dupe, and I mean, they did a good job on this, then go ahead and get you this. That's it. I said what I said. Yeah, now that they're both drying, you can't tell the difference. Anyway, okay? So again, it's a dupity dupe. Okay? So... Is this a stay or a slay? If I decide to post it on What's New Wednesday, which I probably will, baby, this is definite slay. Go on ahead. It's a slay. I will say Kaoli's maybe a smidget more pistachio, a smidget more, just a smidget of creaminess. But if you are attempting to save coin and not taking away from Mona for Kelly. I'm, what I'm saying is, I'm here to get the girls what they need. The girls, the guys, everybody. He, she, he, she, him, shim, them, everybody. What they need, okay? And this, and this, they're the same. All right, next fragrance. Now, the next fragrance is a niche fragrance, and it's by MFK, the house of Macy's Francis Kirk Dijon. And everybody knows them for Baccarat Rouge 540 and Gentle Fluidity Gold. And and so another one that people are know of is um, Oud Satin Mood. Now, Oud Satin Mood, I do not have it in my collection. However, I've smelled it many times. Like I told you, I have a scenographic memory. And I'm going to put her name in the description bar or down on the screen of who recommended this as a dupe for Oud Satin Mood. Now, MFK is not cheap, honey. You gonna spend some coins, okay? But we are now in a time where, listen, you want to pay for quality, yes. But if I can get the same quality for less, then that's what I'm doing because I could use that money for something else, like to get my lashes done or something. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, so I am 
going to talk about. And this is by Mason um, Alhambra. And I have some other fragrance fragrances from Mason Alhambra, which is um, a Middle Eastern brand as well. And this is called Baroque or Bar Baroque Satin Oud. This is a 3.4 fluid ounce. It is said to be the dupe for Oud Satin Mood. I'm sorry. Said to be the dupe for, yeah, Oud Satin Mood. And we gonna see, okay? Now this retails for, I believe I paid for this one. Let's see how much I paid for this one. I don't remember how much I paid for this one. I'll put it down in the description below how much, I mean down below how much I paid for it. Again, this has the little, the seal, kind of like the, so you know that it's authentic and least time. And let me tell you something. If this smelled like that, BB. Because I was thinking about getting it to my collection, but then I was like, mm, why am I doing that? Why am I, why am I buying that? I have a lot of oud fragrances, and I like oud. So you have to really love oud. And even if you don't love oud, I think you would still like oud satin oud. So this comes in a packaging that has a sleeve I just took it out of its sleeve as you can see all right and a box like so I smell it through the packaging already and this is it okay this looks very similar to Oud Satin Moods bottle Oud Satin Moods bottle is the same color or the liquid is the same except the the shape of it is very different. It's square, where well, this is more rounded. I love the bottle. It's actually nice, and this will actually look nice on a vanity, honestly. The bottle is pretty heavy, so you're getting some quality. Now, what we've all been waiting for. Does it compare to MFK's Oud Satin Mood? Let's see. So let's look at the atomizer. Now, y'all go ahead and keep buying these. Now, from what I remember, Oud Satin Mood was a little bit, maybe sweeter to me, or maybe not. But does it compare? Is it a pretty darn good dupe? One of the closest that I've smelled? Absolutely. Yeah. Why are we paying all that money for that? When you could get this. Right here. Now, again, let me tell you what I will say about this. If you like Oud, then you would like this. If you don't like Oud, you may or may not like this. Oud has a very distinct smell. Um, and for some people, it could be off-putting and offensive. For others, it could be very sexy. This is the season for ouds. So if you want a oud, this is what you need to get. Okay? But yeah, I feel like this... Yeah, this is it. This is the dupe. So is this a stay or a slay for this price? Absolutely. It's a definite slay i feel like this is a unisex fragrance men or women could wear a man or a woman could wear this fragrance now am i keeping this i don't know if i'm going to keep this because i have so many other ouds i may or may not let's see how i feel Get, gift this to someone but yeah it's definitely oudin okay yeah this sexy Mm -hmm. And it's, it's extra good for me because of the coin, the price. Yeah. Now, again, if you do not like Oud, you ain't going to like this. So don't go buying this. Talking about, oh, it smells like MFK, Oud Satin. Oud Satin Mood smells like Oud. It's Oud, as my cousin called it. It's Oudy, Oud. It smells like Oud. If you do not like Oud, stay your behind away from this. You ain't going to like this. Now, you may like how it smells on someone else, but you're not going to like this. And I almost feel like this would layer really well with a vanilla fragrance. 
you know what in fact let me let me try this on my skin and see how we doing because then you'll know i'm gonna come back in five minutes baby on the skin on the skin is giving mfk all day on the skin it's giving rich honey it's giving luxury it's giving when i step in the room to cow like it's giving yeah this is giving rich honey this is giving wear this on a cold night when it's the, the weather is as we call it in new york brick brick city the cold is biting your ass okay wear it then all right with your fur on okay with your fur nice little listen wear a little fur a little faux fur a little fox a little sherlin a little a little uh uh, uh mongolian fur with a cute little Mongolian little boot with a heel or no heel. Listen. Yeah, this sexy. This, this. You grown wearing this. You grown grown. You grown wearing this. Ain't no little, ain't no little girl wearing this. You grown grown when you got this on. Okay, this smell like, this smell like rich auntie. Rich, rich, rich auntie with all money. Okay. And if you, again, if you don't like, oh, you ain't gonna like this. So don't do it to yourself. It's a very mature scent. And when I say mature, I don't mean mature as in, oh, it's grandma. No, it's mature as in this woman is sophisticated. She got her itch together and plays no games. Ain't nobody smelling like me. Okay? Mm hmm You did that. Now, this next one is said to be a dupe for, let me get it right, Vibrato by Sospiro. And it's said to be a clean fragrance. And to be a clean fragrance is a clean, long-lasting fragrance. And I believe I got this from Sharita on YouTube. Um, and so, one of the videos that she did was like on long lasting winter fragrances that, that happened to be, and this happened to be one of the clean ones and clean fragrances don't usually last. Um, especially in winter, that scent profile just, just doesn't. Now I do not know what vibrato smells like. I can give you the notes of what it's, is in bravado. It is a unisex fragrance and it's said to be for both, of course, both men and women. And it has top notes of grapefruit, bergamot, jasmine, magnolia, Base middle notes of ginger, herbal notes, and powdery notes, and base notes of musk, cedar, amber, patchouli, and orris root. Now, let me tell you something. That sounds like my kind of fragrance because I like patchouli. I like something woody, but I also like something sweet. I like something a little different. Woody happens to smell good on me. Now, the said to be dupe is another one by, um, is this Alhamin as well? This is by Al Haramain, yes. And this is Janoon Oud, okay? Now, Janoon Oud has very similar notes when I'm looking at them, looking at it. Um, yeah. Listen. This is the box. It comes in the sleeve like this. Now, this is cutesy, okay? It's giving... Now, what I've been told with Middle Eastern fragrances, you have to let them sit because the mass production is so fast. The more you let them sit, the better they smell. And I agree. Now, this is the bottle, okay? It's a bit, um, if this was actually wooden and felt wooden and ingrained, it'd be great. I mean, it's, it's okay, right? But we're talking about the quality of the juice here, not the bottle. But it's an okay bottle. This is a 2.5 fluid ounce. I'll put the cost down in the bottom. But um, let's see what this smells like. Now, again, I don't know what vibrato smells like, the original. I'm just bringing this on here because I heard it was a dupe. And to be honest with you, I'm not going to put my stamp on this one because I have not smelled vibrato. However, I did want to get this. It was a Middle Eastern fragrance and I was like, I got to smell. So that's what I'm doing. All right, so let's see. Oh, I'm nervous. I don't know why I get nervous every time I do this. Let's look at the atomizer. Mm, 
it hit me. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. This is my kind of scent right here. Ooh, this is the one plus the two, honey. This is one through ten. But when I tell you you got to like Woody, if you don't like Woody, don't do this to yourself. I'm telling you, because this is a Woody, Woody, Woody fragrance. This has top notes of grapefruit and woody notes. You can smell it. Middle notes of musk, jasmine, and amber. Base notes of patchouli. You don't even, you smell a little smidge of patchouli. Woody notes and pisap, pilisander rosewood. This is a woody fragrance. I feel like I'm in the woods, honey. Yeah, I can see where the cleanliness comes from, smelling clean. I feel like I would possibly layer this with K. Ali's Vanilla 28 to bring a little bit of warmth to it if I was feeling like that. And this, let me tell you something. This is going to be a beast. When I tell you this, this, this seems like it's going to be beast mode, knock you out. But I also feel like you could wear this in summer because it has that clean to it and you could wear it now in winter. This feels like you can wear this through the seasons. I don't know if I'm smelling, it's not leather, but it's the woody smell. Again, you have to like woody to like this fragrance. Yeah, this smell good. Mm -hmm. All right, now for the test, I'm gonna try it on the skin and see how it's going. I hope I don't regret that because this thing seems like it's not going to go nowhere. You smelling like this for the whole day. That's it. So I might as well hang it up flat screen because it's, this is it. Oh, this nice. Yeah. So what's this? This is Slay. I don't even have to, this. Listen. Al Hermain. Since 1970, Janun Oud, you did that. And if this is a comparison for Verado, this smells very niche to me. That's what this is giving. This giving, I'm rich, itch, times a thousand. This giving, old money, new money. When I step in, part cleared away because I'm coming. This going to be my, this going to be the one, my other signature scent. Nah, listen. You listening to me? Go on over to Amazon and go and get you a bottle, okay? It'll get to you in two days. In fact, let me see how much I paid for this. Oh, this this is... Baby. <laughs> baby girl. This is giving... It's giving all the things, baby girl. It's giving... Oh! So it says it's on here for $60. And I may have paid that. I don't care how much I paid for it. Because from what I understand, Verado is, is going in the hundreds, two hundreds, okay? Oh. oh. Listen, if you don't listen to nothing else I tell you, even if you don't like Woody, just try it. It's clean, it's Woody. You can't stop. Oh, it's, oh, baby. Let me go ahead and get the next one. Now, the next one is said to be a dupe for Amaj's Blossom Love. Now, again, I'm not going to put my stamp on this one because I have not smelled that with my own nose. I have Amaj Guidance. That was actually my first and only fragrance from the house. But I looked up online and was saw that this was a really good recommendation. And this is also by Al Hermain, and this is um, Janoon Rose. And this is this is marketed towards women. The fragrance before this that I talked about, Janoon Oud, is marketed and said to be a dupe for vibrato, is marketed as a unisex fragrance that I can't stop smelling. Everything. Mm -hmm. So we're going to open this up and see... What we got? Okay. Oh, so let's talk about some notes in this. So this has top notes of cherry blossom, 
ylang ylang and bergamot. It has middle notes of powdery notes, amaretto, mm, rose and heliotrope. Base notes of suede, tonka bean and amber. I'm, I'm here for it. Okay, I'm here for it. And the price point on this, I believe is, what was the price point on this one? Let's see what I paid for it. It don't even say, child. I feel like it was less than $50. I'll put it down in the description. All right, so as the other one, it's like an envelope box, you pull it open. I like this box a little, this bottle a little better, honestly. Let's see. Um, again, it's the same as the other bottle. My bottle has a little scratch on it. It's okay. And it's the same as the Oud bottle. It's just in white. I feel like, oh, the juice must be pink because I can see through the bottle. The juice must be pink. Yeah. Now, we're going to see if this is giving what it's supposed to give, too. Okay, so we're going to spray this on a test strip. Let's check out the atomizer. It already hit me right in my face. Oh, wow. 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 Listen. Oh, so initially you get this first, you get the rose, but what I'm smelling is the cherry blossom. You get the rose, I get the amaretto. That's what I'm smelling, like a like a alcoholic beverage. I get the suede too, and then the tonka bean, the amber and the powdery notes bring it all together and make it smell so pretty like it's oh this is a little indescribable now that I just described it this is very pretty this reminds me of a wedding day and I think the cherry blossoms in this because I believe Chinatown had cherry blossoms in it by bond number nine it gives me that but it's it's has a powderiness to it, but also a sweetness. I'm not a fan of powdery scents. I, that's just not my thing. But this, the ylang ylang, the let me tell you something. These Middle Eastern fragrances, they coming for your neck. This gonna smell. I can't wait for summer and spring to wear this. This smells like summer and springtime. This smells like when you having that summer, summer love, spring love. Oh, baby. This the one, this, listen, do me a favor. It ain't, listen, don't take an Uber, try to take, don't get a little Starbucks coffee for a little bit. Save you a little coin, sixty dollars. Go. Oh. Ooh. All right. So let me spray it on my skin. It's got so much. You know, I'm spray it on my shoulder. And see, you see, you see how that glistens. So that means that the oil concentration is in this is crazy. Nah, listen. This is, listen to me. You listening to me? You want something, I think what's hitting me is this amaretto. This amaretto, baby, this, this right here though, listen to me. If you're new here to this channel, and you don't know me, you don't know if our noses are similar, let me explain something to you. I, my nose has grown. I have been into fragrances for a very long time, since my teenage years. Um, my first niche fragrance was Bond Number no. 9 Madison Avenue, bought for me by my mama when it first came out. And let me, let me tell you something.
I have a lot of fragrances, almost up to 300, close to. And listen, if you don't know me, and then it almost smells soapy. Listen, if you don't know, you're new on this channel once again, and listen, I like rose, I like patchouli, I like saffron, I like vanilla scents, I like woody scents, I like warm scents, I like florals, and the florals have to be warm florals more so than a floral floral. Um, and I'm not going to steer you wrong, okay? And I'm just going to say, this here, I feel like you go online in the next few, it's going to skyrocket this price. Because if this is what, what did they say this was a dupe for? By Homage, Love Bloom, if I'm not mistaken. Let me just get it right. Is it Love Bloom by Homage? Blossom Love, I'm sorry. I'm buying this. It smells, you smell the amaretto, you smell the rose, but it also smells soapy and clean and sweet and boozy at the same time, if that's even possible. I'll be right back. So this this is how I feel about this. And that's what vibe. If you like Valaya, I feel like you're probably going to like this. Valaya is, has an, to me, a solar note, but it's not a solar. It's it's aquatic. It's And it's a beast. Okay, don't let that little that white clear bottle and clear liquid fool you. It is beast mode, and that is one of my newest signature scents that I wear especially in summertime or when it's raining. Something about that fragrance when it rains just smells great. If you like that scent profile, I don't know. I feel like you're gonna like this. Oh, yeah, this this. Mm, 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 mm. Just go ahead. Listen, today I must say, listen, these Middle Eastern fragrances that I have, check out, I have a part two to this because I have more fragrances coming. Um, Y'all did that. And check out my part one, actually. I did a video a while back on Middle Eastern slash inexpensive fragrances from Amazon. But listen, just go ahead, go ahead. Tell them I sent you. Now listen, I'm not getting no, 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 no kickback off of this. I'm not getting no, like this, you know, coin come. No, I'm trying to just help y'all because I feel like every person should go out with matching underwear. That's my number one. Try and look in your best even when you don't feel your best. Cause I feel like sometimes we don't always feel our best and it's okay not to be okay. But I find that when I'm not feeling my best is when I make the extra effort to look my best because it does something and it helps me feel better. And my other thing is always go outside smelling like something, something good, okay? I don't care if you're going to the corner store, do a little shh, shh. make sure you bathe too, cause that works. But, so I feel like a lot of the times luxury is not available to some people. It's not affordable for them. And who's to say that you got to spend all your coins? And even if it is affordable, who's to say that you want to spend all your coins on that? Okay, you may want to spend your coins on something else, on traveling, on, you know, those beautiful children you have, you know, your boo, your bae, you know, your home, your whatever it is, a stock, your business. I'm here to bring you affordable options along with honest opinion about these brands, niche, designer, whatever. Despite what everyone has been saying and what's going on, I'm not doing that. So if you're here for that on this channel, you could just go ahead to somebody else's channel because that's not happening here. Now, Latafa, Affection Love, is a dupe for Kaylee's Young Pistachio. Spot on. 
Barak Satin Oud is the dupe for MFK's Oud Satin Mood. This right here, Janoon Oud, is a dupe for Vibrato's, uh, Vibrato, that perfume Vibrato I put the picture up. And last but definitely not least, we have Janoon Rose, which is the dupe for Blossom Love by Amage. I think, I think I did well here, ladies and gents. And I'm telling you, go get it and then tell me what you think in fact please go get it and put it put a comment in my description bar like just tell me if you got it already let, let me know what you think how you feel about it go go ahead as always thank you so much for tuning in stay elevated stay humble stay beautiful and stay blessed